In this video, we're going to examine how to forecast for seasonal data using multiple linear regression. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is make what are called dummy variables for each time period. Um, and by time period, I mean if you had monthly data for each month and if you had quarterly data for each quarter. We'll make more sense of that when I show you how to do this in Excel as well and we move on. Um, but we're going to make dummy variables. They're called by setting um, the value to 1 for each data value that's in that time period and by setting the value to zero for each data value that's not in that time period. Again, we'll make more sense of that later. Um, okay, and uh, what we do, we create these dummy variables for each um, either quarter, if it's quarterly data, or for each month, if it's monthly data, but then we include all but one of these um, when we're doing our regression and we make them X variables. And we use the data itself as a Y variable and then use a coded um, time as an X variable as well. By coded, that means for each time period, uh, we assign a number We're starting at zero. So our first period we call the coded time value zero and then a one, two, three, and so on and so forth. And we're gonna see how to do that in Excel as well. Um, and then finally, I like to use the data analysis tool pack in Excel. It comes standard, whether you have um, Excel for Mac or Windows. Okay, moving on here, um, results, if we have quarterly data, here is what our uh, result, resulting equation is going to look like. Here's the equation, and let's make sense of this. Okay, so that T, that first one is our coded time period, this one right here. It's going to start at zero, and we're going to count up by one. Um, and then X2 is our quarter two dummy variable, um, and that dummy variable is going to equal to a one whenever our data is in quarter two on a zero otherwise. Uh, X3 is going to be our quarter three dummy variable, so same thing, it's going to equal to a one whenever we're in quarter three, zero otherwise, and then X4 is going to be our quarter four dummy variable, and same idea. Note that I excluded quarter one, you can exclude any quarter that you'd like. I did that on purpose just to make my equation look nice. Um, we need the T variable somewhere, and what these are, these B0 through B4 are what are called our coefficients. Um, and so if I excluded quarter one, then my coefficient number would match with my um, dummy variable. So uh, quarter two, three, and four go with the B2, B3, B4, and the B1 goes with my coded time period. Okay, now what if we had monthly data? And here, this little reminder again, quarter one has been excluded. Uh, again, you could exclude any one of the four dummy variables. You just have to make sure one of them is excluded. Uh, for monthly data, we're going to do the same thing, but now we have 12 months, so this equation keeps going. So B0 through B12, uh, where we have the same thing. The T here is our coded time period, starting at 0. Uh, and then X2 through all the way to X12 are our dummy variables. Again, uh, in this case, we go all the way to 12. Um, and note, I again excluded uh, month number 1 here. So let's say my data started in January. I would exclude the dummy variable for January for um, when I was doing my multiple regression. Again, we'll see how to do this in um, in the video in Excel here. Um, and again, just a reminder, quarter one was excluded. And um, I just did a dot, dot, dot here. This means that it's the same idea for months four through 11. They're just um, these coefficients here. So be four, five, six, and so on, all the way to 11 are just our coefficients for each of those months. Uh, and again, see the next video for how to, um, to do this in Excel, and then there'll be a final video on how to analyze our results that we get um, from this, um, this method. And then finally, how to compare which method is better. Is um, Holt Winters better or is um, the regression better? Uh, we can analyze it. I'm going to use what's called the RMSC to do that.